from the Venus Division in Seoul, Korea. Here at the GSTL, it's time for our second set of games. We have Xenex against the Team Startail. It's going to be pretty epic, man. That it is. Now let's face it, there is a favorite here. It is uh, Startail. They've had a considerable amount of success, but Xenex is rapidly growing, rapidly improving, and here they come out now. There they are, a team with some really great players and some not as great players. Xenix line, one of my favorites, beyond quite good as well. I think those two are going to be the stars of today. Will they use Kyrix? They normally don't use him in the team league, so that'll be something interesting to see. Xenix! Wow. You should have been a male cheerleader. I should have. I'd be like the one where I'd be like balancing two or three girls on my shoulders and stuff. I'd be like, no, is that dance squad? What is that? No, no, that, that could be uh, that. Uh, but I, I don't know, man. I know you. I feel like that's not you. I feel like you're actually like the first rung up. Your knees are like shaking as you step on someone's hands to be the second rung up on the pyramid. Is that what I would be? You even imagine Either that or you're somebody just, like, standing on me with my inert back and be like, oh, God, I feel my spine compressing. All right, there is the Team Xenex. Let's take a look at a little bit of their history, in case you're not familiar with the GSTL. Round of four, round of eight, round of eight. Oh, Xenex Puzzle is their captain, the guy who knocked out Chef, unfortunately, from Code I don't want to talk about it. No. Nope. Xenex is uh, similar to Foyu. Yeah, we'd probably classify them as a tier two team. Yes. Tier one, basically only having four teams. Uh, tier two team, obviously it's still very good. And look at this, I like these poses. Some, somebody fire a gun or Xenex Beyond is gonna run through your screen right now. That he is tasteless. Let's see here, who else has got some cool poses here? Looks like Xenex Hack is sneaking up behind Xenex Naya. He's got a secret to tell him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got some other great players, Ice Cream Young. Puzzle. Ice cream, man. Ice cream. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, cookie dough ice cream. I think that's like everyone's favorite flavor, isn't it? Yeah, I, th I think it is, actually. I'm pretty sure it actually just Somebody's like, no, strawberry. No, man, strawberry's not going to be a good favorite ice cream. I hate it when people have wrong opinions. Isn't that terrible? No, it's sad. I don't know why they do that. They're ruining yeah. esports. They're ruining esports. People that like cherry ice cream. Yeah. Well, cherries in your ice I need to get fine. I need to get outraged. It's time for my outrage blog post about how it's ruining you know esports. What? Will you will you help me by uploading on Reddit Tasis so we can put does anyone else think that Tasis needs to calm down on the jokes about ruining esports? Because it's ruining esports when he says it's ruining esports. Today I learned that Tasis doesn't know what he's talking about when he's talking about ruining esports and it's ruining esports. Because when I say it's ruining esports, I really mean it. When he says it's ruining esports, he's making fun of people who say it's ruining esports, and that's ruining esports! <laughs> oh God. You just will never be a Don't happy you person. Think that we should just be allowed to at least discuss Let's this as a face community. it, guys. Oh, oh. I, love it. I love my life. I love. I love life. So look, Xenix is a very good team. They're very talented, uh, and you know I think sometimes they're overshadowed a little bit by Line and uh, Beyond, but they do have other good players as well, which we'll probably be seeing early on here. But here is a team that they have to play against. It's Star Tail. Sick team indeed. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa that? boys. Sick team indeed. We see that head coach right there. His side coach, Lizer, Bomber, Squirtle, Ace. This, this is kind of uh, an all star team. Yeah, it's, it's got it's all sorts of players, tasteless. a lot of different old school, new school. It's really going to be tough for uh, ZenX to, to win this. It definitely is, man. I mean, these guys have such experience behind them. They've performed time and time again. Right. One, two, three. Ah, I thought I could predict it. All right. I feel like they were trying to all hold their hand over like a geyser which is going to go off. Like, we just apply enough pressure. It's like one guy is doing it and his face is getting red. He's like, this is so hard. And then his teammates who previously didn't like him because he was a jerk. They go over and you, one, first guy goes over and he looks him in the eye and puts his hand on top of his hand. Then everyone else comes in and they do it together and they save the day. 
That's called teamwork, Artosis. So, now the question is... Oh, excuse me. Shouldn't get ahead of myself here. Let's take a look at Startail and their history. A runner-up in February, then a round of four, then a round of eight. Getting worse and worse. Actually, yeah. How about that? Let's see... I, you know, I guess when I thought about them before, I was always focused on some of their older accomplishments. With, but they are going to have, um, as you can see, as of May, they have actually some room for improvement here. They certainly do, and they've bolstered their uh, lineup recently, getting Trickster and Freakiel from TSL. So, but those players are not going to be playing here today. I think they have to wait till at least some time from now in the next season. Is, is that actually true? Is that the I believe that's the, team the now? case. You have to submit your roster ahead of time. You notice they are not here. Curious sound, bomber, virus, hope torch. No, not hope torch. It's rainbow. Who typed that? Get the producer out here. Get the PD out here. It's ruining esports. <laughs> Tiger, Squirtle, King Kong, and Ace. Oh my God! Our producer just informed us that he once again changed his ID. Yeah, it's not happening. Back to Hope Torture. I'm gonna go back there. He's gonna I'm, have to actually sue. We're me. gonna have an intervention. We're all gonna be like, "Hey, come on out. We're going to." Where do we go for an intervention? Applebee's. Applebee's. We're going to Applebee's. And he's gonna be like, "Oh, I love Applebee's." He's like, uh, "Bloomin' onion." I'm like, "Bloomin' like, onion." Bloomin' onion, man. And then we're gonna be like, "All right, listen. Everybody is worried about you. Stop." He like going has a back piece of blue onion idea. in his hand, and he has a smile on his face, about to put it in his mouth, and he's just like, "Oh." And then mom and dad walk in the, into the room. Mm -hmm. That one counselor guy or whatever. And then some total jerk told uh, the restaurant that it was his birthday. And they come out with a cake singing to him while he's crying because he's like, having Happy intervention. birthday, Rainbow. He's like, My idea is hope torture. Oh. All right, here's a shot of the team now. Quite a strong lineup. Yeah, that's Seriously. Uh, everybody on that team is so good. There is the head of the team league. Showing a little wax on, wax off with his hands. And uh, number two being discussed here. Don't know what else to say. Oh, yeah, 2-2. Two, two. That's one more than they one. They might be doing a game oh, of rock, yeah, paper, yeah. scissors right now. We did see the sign for paper. So if you both go paper, but I have paper and rock, then I go back to paper, paper. All right. It made sense. <laughs> wow. Seriously. Seriously? Seriously. I'm just like looking you in awe, man. You are so funny. We're on camera and we're doing it. It's time to not punch anymore. So I swear to God we're not on camera. I look like I'm sitting on a toilet. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> That's how I sit everywhere, tasteless. <laughs> when we're not on camera, we're in like a totally different pose and stuff. I got my feet on the table like this. Mm -hmm. Dan Sometimes is knitting a sweater up. because Dan likes to knit a lot. Crocheting, actually. Crocheting? I like to crochet. He doesn't like to crochet, but he'll go with it. I used joke. to crochet, actually. Really? Yeah, man. I used to, like, how many Starcraft. things I'm, like, supposed to be. I am, like, your best friend. And, like, I find out all sorts of stuff about this guy when I commentate with him. Yeah, man. I don't know. I, that was a long time ago. But, like, back when I had guinea pigs, I crocheted them guinea pig sweaters. And uh, <laughs> I put them on, right? But guinea pigs, like, basically drag themselves on the ground. They're, like, so low. They got, like, their legs are, like, that you like trying to touch him and you get shocked? It, it basically. No, wait a minute. Wait, so like, are, you, are you actually serious? I'm serious right now, man. My grandmother helped me make them. So basically, they would try to walk. They'd start walking, and it would just come right off on the rug. Just like it never stayed on one time. I was just like, oh. I'm like, nanny, it didn't work. She's like, oh, really? It dragged off? I'm like, yeah. And so the guinea pig What uh, kind of guinea pig away. sweater was it? A crocheted one, man. Made out of yarn. They have like a guinea pig turtleneck came up like this. It had a little piece that like went up a little bit more on the head. I don't know why it had that piece. Did you, you do one of those things where you're like, I'm going to give him, you know, crocheted little bunny ears on him because it's like, I have a guinea pig, but I want him to have rabbit ears. It's like, you're actually, you think it's cute. Have you seen the island of Dr. Moreau? <laughs> All right. That's oh. messed up. Oh, that movie, Tasteless. That's that one, movie, that's that's one of those movies, it's like, me. you shouldn't have tampered with nature. It's like, oh, shut up, man. You guys, Avatar, and what's the one movie with the sharks that are eating the people and the... 
Jaws? And the, no, the one where Morgan Freeman's like giving that speech and a shark like comes out and eats it. No, I have no idea. I've seen it so Sounds many times. Like a, I don't know how they afford Morgan Freeman for a movie like then that. Then Fern Gully comes in and I'm like, look, oh, God, you're preachy movies. You shouldn't check the unknown. Yes, we should. <laughs> what movie said that? Oh, it's the theme of those movies, man. Oh, that's so funny. Well, no, the theme you in Avatar. The theme in Avatar is it's like human beings are kind of greedy and like nature is really. And then the dude decides to become a Navi. He's like worse than that. What's what's the guy, the wolf guy in Wing Commander? He like just totally sold out his whole species. All right. Anyways, on to this actual match. We have Zenex Pion. <laughs> He there would he sell is. out his human species. The next we just discovered is double jointed in his arms. Really? Elbows. Yep. Xenex Bion is good, and this is actually a very smart move to bring him out. Yeah, he's he's a strong player to lead with, man. He is he's something else. And he's a Terran. Who will he be fighting against? Will it be another TBT? Because he is so good at TBT. Could be Artosis. I mean, if it, if, it is, check. if it is, a I know TV. there's people that are like, "Well, we already know." I actually, I didn't check. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's we've funny. actually, we've actually been really busy since we got back from NASL. I didn't check. Really spot busy. Match. Didn't ask anyone. I want to be surprised. You got the MLG guys. No in spoilers town. for taking me. Them out. Uh, uh, let me think of something I can spoil. I guys. wish Artosis knew that before he came in. It's ruining esports. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't, man. You he need to learn how to be is. happy. Huh? He has all the Gatorades. I went out to look for a Gatorade. I had to get him out and do. Oh, man. Yun. Not a huge soda drinker, but Pepsi sponsors, and therefore I love Mountain Dew. And who is now, this? Who is that? Sound. It's Sound. We know nothing about this guy. Well, to beat Yun in a TBT, he better be faster than the speed of Sound tastes. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. You know the first man-made invention to break the speed of Sound? Uh, no. A win. A whip? A whip. The end of the whip. It got going Breaks so fast. speed of sound. Yeah. You are smart. I am. And handsome. But someone tweeted at me that I was actually wrong. The blue part of the plane isn't hotter. Apparently there's oh, less not. oxygen. So I don't know how that works with Hellions. But. Well, I mean, when you see a, a you know, a, a giant explosion, it's not blue. I mean, the gas uh, stove is blue. Well. Yeah. Well, I figure, you know. Yeah. It, it comes out and like it has to get cooler as it rises, right? That would make sense, right? Right. People are like stars aren't blue. I'm like, blue giants are blue. <laughs> They're like there aren't blue giants. There's only red giants. I'm like, no. <laughs> All right. So head to head. Look, Sound should not be the favorite in any circumstance. Sartail, the team is the favorite, but the Terran versus Terran against Beyond. Bion is going to be the favorite. This is going to be no Bion for sound. Truth. No, it's not. If he falls in the forest, does anyone hear him while Bion chops his head off with Marines? And the answer is, does it really matter? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the game is loading. Head to head, Terran versus Terran. Bion against sound. Well, Bion, I think, actually one of the most established Terran versus Terran experts with his own tactical style. Manage. Uh, to lose against an unknown sound, but then again, don't forget he's on Team Star Tail. We could see the debut. Some very unique strategies from a very new player. We're gonna find out. You the God Flames. Keep a dragon in a cage in the studios. It's one of his kind. Why not just use pyrotechnics? Because we're. <laughs> Over here in the bottom left on the Team Xenix, we have... Xenix! He's really good. I really got a lot of respect for this guy. Yeah. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's going to do. Over here in the center right location, I remember the Team Startail. Startail! Sounder! Sounder! Turns out tasteless, I was right. The blue flames are hotter. Bam. Guy who told me I'm wrong, you're wrong. What, somebody else messaged you on Twitter? That's right, tasteless. Add us on Twitter, I'm Artosis, he's call me tasteless. If you don't, you're ruining esports. Also, you're ruining esports, man. And add Gom TV. 
and tweeted us because otherwise you just don't care about esports. You don't understand that it'll probably just all fall apart in a week from now. Because of you. Because of you. Don't do it. All right. So we have a gas first build here from Byun. That makes me happy and excited because that means tech. I love to see mech. One Banshee into mech is one of my favorite builds in this match at the moment. Yeah, that's a good build. It's really started picking up now. Now, they would, we did fix this map a little bit. The Zelnaga Watchtower used to stay there the entire time. Now it uh, destructs. And that's good because the turn was tearing. Frankly, having one Zelnaga Watchtower in the center of the map mm. uh, makes that, that actually so overly insanely important that like, it screws up Siege Tank for Siege Tank. And the ruined G Sports. <laughs> so we didn't want to do that. The more you do it, the funnier it gets. It's actually so funny. The well, joke funny is funny like the first two times, and it's like gets less and less funny, then suddenly it's so funny. Well, there's always the crybaby thread, man. There's like, I just, uh, I just don't know. <laughs> I live in a realm of doubt and fear. <laughs> All right. So, using that watchtower while he still can. Interesting choice to just have an SCV sitting at a watchtower. I feel like it might be a, a better choice to have him sitting near the ramp. If you're going to be losing mining time, you may as well see exactly when they move out instead of a while after. Now we do have our Sarge player going for a double gas after command. Quick starport for Bjorn. Does look like it's going to be a single Banshee. Will he go into mech with it? Oh, I sure hope so. Tasis, thanks for asking. No problem. <laughs> I, I appreciate that you're concerned with the things I'm concerned with. Whether they mean something to you or not, it's the thought that counts. This is how relationships stay healthy. Yeah. So, um, you know, we got a little bit of downtime until this uh, first Banshee comes out and we see how effective the harassment is. With that second gas, our Sartail player is actually getting a second barracks. Kind of interesting. Yeah, who would have thought the SCB dies before the Zelenaga Watchtower does? That's all he wanted the time he was born. Is a Ooh, he's got to be careful here. Whoa. Whoa. Decent scouting by Byun. Pretty deece. Pretty deece. Pretty deece. Talking funny. like a bro. That's funny. Reactor being made on the barracks. Still Hellions being pumped out as well. I'm just waiting to see if he wants to actually, uh, yeah, he's going to make the command center. But does he want to go mech? And perhaps factory going up for a Startail player. Concussive shells as well. Now one player going for Banshee, um, while the other going for a concussive shell. This Banshee could do actually a lot more damage than we would normally expect it to. Hmm. Hellions are getting ready to double team with the Banshee. The Marines should be pulled to go over to the, where the Banshee is. No more auto being made, just Marines, so that Hellions, if they get the Marines lined up, could be extremely effective. Now yes. these Marines are not going to be guarding the entrance, so... Yeah. Hellions are going to come right up that ramp and kill that first Marine, no doubt. And, wow, well, now we have the Marines lining up. Oh, man. Beyond has to multitask well here. He can't lose with the Banshee. This is a really tough moment to multitask as well. Indeed it is. Oh, and going after RCVs, instead of hitting that line of Marines with three Hellion shots, he would have actually killed all those uh, four Marines right there. Banshee still doing a good job. Softened up a lot of stuff. Not Six workers killed, not bad. Yeah. Can't complain. But it was really just five for that attack. Yeah. This one was actually that SCV at the Zelnaga Watchtower that's now gone. Quite true, Tasteless. We do have the Banshee coming back in, trying to get some more kills. Blue Flame is on the way for Byun, and he's adding another factory. Tasteless, I think we may see. Uh, yeah. Which would just be awesome. Be dandy and swell. All right. So, uh, again, a little bit more downtime now. The attack was deflected. I think actually sounded a pretty good job considering how technical that attack was. But, you know, Byun's taking a little lead. He's up at 32 SCVs against 26. He's going to land at the expansion before sound is. Yeah. Sound somehow won't hear it. Doesn't have any scouts over there in range. Not listening. And 
And uh, yeah, I mean, for the time being, Sound is still kind of bunkered into his base. Well, nice little pressure attack is coming over. Marines with uh, no real upgrades and a medevac with three blue flamed Hellions. Well, his stim is, um, no, excuse me, that's actually for Sound. I was going to say, stim is getting the lair. Nice, here with the blue flame Hellions. Not cute little move. And this is going to end pretty soon. And wow, great timing by Beyond to back up. Yeah, this, that, this, see, that's when you know you got a good StarCraft player. It's yeah. like he's he's not just going to keep going. He's like, oh, I'm having some success. You know, I don't want this to end. He gets in there, does the damage, and then backs out. Yeah, it was just a little pressure. Didn't end up really killing anything, which is fine. You don't have to kill anything. It was completely worth it. Even losing that, it was completely worth it. Slowed it down. Put a little tiny amount of damage on some various things. You know, just kind of spooked him. Yeah, it did spook him a little bit. Uh-oh! Oh my god! That's One or two more damage. shots! Nice split at the last second by Sound. That split saved the day. Yes, he certainly did. And Beyond's doing a great job, man. 17 workers killed. 48 SCVs to 28. That is so many more for Beyond. Hmm. Beyond is going mech. Getting his third command at the moment. While Sound is just making, you know, Marauders, basically. Yeah. It's not a good place to be in. So now, he does have some uh, Hellions ready to counterattack in here, too. And Sound may uh, feel a little bit of pressure to, you know, start doing something on the map instead of just absorbing or deflecting attacks. And that's what we're going to have. We'll get a shot in a minute. Oh, but these Marauders. Look at that. Just running right by the sea tank. He doesn't care. Going after the mules. Is taking out a few SCVs there. 28 SCVs against 55. Gun continues to take a lead. Siege tanks moving out now with the Hellions. He's got to be careful because a counter push can occur here. Mm -hmm. Green Marauder is uh, really more mobile than Mac. And it looks like a single tank contain here. Basically, what he wants is for his opponent to attack in with some Hellions and or Siege tanks and just stim the Marines and Marauders and run in and kill it. But Yun. Realistically, you should just sit there and make units. Just continue his harassment via dropships if he wants, but uh, that's it. Oh, medevac spotted. Oh! Nice and quick turnaround there. Wouldn't it be cool if as the mule is falling, it could be shot? What would be cool is if you, the mule as it falls could actually hit an air unit and kill it. Not the wing of a Viking. So what you're nice saying time. is we should make mules better. Maybe you make him stronger. I thought you switched to Protoss stasis. Maybe give him a ranged attack. <laughs> so that there's actually, do I want my mule to mine or do I want him to attack? I want to make it so they have Psy Storm when they land. <laughs> they want at least 75 energy. Psy Storms, whatever it lands on, I like that actually. Because then like you land it in your mineral line, you're like, ah, oh, you kill your own SCVs. <laughs> 94 supply right now uh, for sound, 145 for Beyond. It's actually kind of funny how far ahead he's getting. Yeah, that's a pretty massive lead. 37 SCVs to 70, almost twice as many for Bion. He's going to have to start thinking about really pushing out, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's starting to push out with his Viking Siege Tank composition. He's got a pretty serious Siege Tank outnumbering here. And Bion, unfortunately, has less Vikings. Oh, there's more Vikings coming up, and he will be able to win the air battle. It's going to give him the squatting advantage. And Sound is going to make a hasty retreat. That is the sound of defeat. Whoa! Nice blue flame Hellion drop going on. Just two in the main, making the SCVs run. Going to go for the natural as well. The SCVs running away very quickly. Uh, taking out. No, not even. Oh! I spoke too soon. Nice. You know, all those, all those SCVs, I don't know if you had a medevac on them, but they healed up too quick. Oh man, uh, he's got to be careful, Sound does. And Byun has successfully taken his third base and is now almost twice the supply, 87 to 160. He's absolutely, Byun is absolutely crushing Sound. Like, this kid ain't going to make a peep this game. Nope. 
No, he will not, Artosis. Trying to go around for a counterattack. Oh, this could work, but the problem is if uh, he just sieges up outside that expansion, the natural expansion, it's going to be pretty good. The Unsea jumps and tanks. Bring up his Hellions just to Nice, send out the SCVs here. Does not matter too much. Lands the other units. The Un coming back with his Siege tank board. The Marauders, I mean, they did a pretty good job. You know, he killed off a lot. But he also lost everything. So And now he's going to take out all these SCVs over here. Meanwhile, this is just oh brilliant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No more to see sets at GG. All right. That, sir, was one side. That Leon was. just showing why he's in the round of eight of Code S, and we've never heard of Sam. Another game where um, it was a little bit more one-sided than Moby Strip. Yes. You know? All right, well, Sound obviously disappointed, but what are you going to do? You're up against Bion, you know? Yeah. You're going to get crushed. That's what this is. No, Startail intentionally puts a player like that out there. Not because he's well-rounded and, you know, he can take out a bunch of players. He's saying, well, we're probably just going to beat Xenix. So let's send a new guy out there, yeah, give him some experience. It's a smart move. If Sound is one of your up-and-comers, you've got to start uh, prepping him. Because if you don't, man, eventually, yeah, he will make it into Code A. Uh, but when he gets there, he's going to have to play on stage, and it's going to be so stressful. Having never done it before, he's just going to fall to Code B again. He's going to become... This poor guy that's so depressed, tries so hard, but just can't do it. Experience is everything, man. It really is. It it's really important is. important to have stage experience. It, it's unbelievably important. We see players that are just not nearly as good as the people they're playing beat them quite often because they've just been around and have the stage experience. They're like, well, you kill me in practice, but I know how to play with people watching me and yeah. cheering and it's so important. Is analyzing my moves. That's stressful. That's got to be scary, actually, because we're pretty harsh. We're the harshest commentators there are. There are. Yeah, absolutely. Let's give ourselves credit for that now. We, like, high-five ourselves. <laughs> Who do they bring out next? I don't know. Actually. I would say bring out Heavy Hitter, maybe July. Virus, I think? No, don't bring out Terran. Don't bring out Terran. Put out for us. Is that curious? Uh, I want to say it is, but I don't know all their faces yet. It, it is. is curious. Okay. All right, cool. See how he can do. The map is Metalopolis, so that oh, well, that's a good choice against Beyond, of course. Now Beyond's off to a pretty good start here. Um, it is, it is. Excuse me, interesting. They did put Beyond out first. You know, it's a cool strategy. You know, Senex, they are not favored against Startail, but Beyond is a player that absolutely he can beat anyone on Startail. There's, he can do it. So putting him out there is going to give them some sort of momentum. And I like that. I think that's a cool move. Cool move to start out with. Start out with him, end with line. Use your next two strongest players in between. Yeah, not a bad idea. Mm. And, uh, you know, with a little bit of luck, Yun takes out one, two, maybe even three players. Because he is that, he's good enough to do that. There's not a lot of backups for him, but you send out a couple guys and maybe one of them can snipe someone good. And, uh... Then you have line. IMO. Furious, we've seen him play. He's very good, but uh, he's had kind of moderate, if anything, success. Nothing too impactful. Another camera shot. Dude, Next time I'm like picking my nose, I'm like eating that. I was thing. actually sitting here like playing with my double jointed finger. Yeah. Oh, that's don't creepy, do huh? that. Oh, why Ooh. do you. Oh. You look at me like breaking your hand and stuff in front of me, man. I like just break my finger and then like go like this and just rip it off. <laughs> I like put it in my pocket. <laughs> you're like, you're crazy. I'm like gushing blood right there. Uh, Tomorrow, tasteless cast with Wolf. <laughs> all right, we got a uh, VCR coming up for you guys. So check that out. I Those are probably so 10 years ago, man. It's all about DVDs now. <laughs> You crazy guy. That's that's the term. That's the industry term, Artosis. All right. So we're tasteless. probably going to have, have interviewed the, the coaches, see what they say, see how they're feeling, see what's up, how's life, how's, how, you know, how you think your team's going to do in the GSL. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Artosis. <laughs> All 
네, 그 저희 팀 저번에 IM 전에 지고 나서 이제 그때 숙소 가서 이제 현우가 자기가 이제 무조건 다음에 나가서 올킬을 하겠다고 계속 이제 그런 말을 했기 때문에 처음엔 제가 안 된다고 안 된다고 했는데 계속 끈질기게 자기 하겠다고 하니까 결국에 허락했습니다. 네, 저희가 그 이제 1승 1패지만 1패한 게 그래도 이제 우, 강력한 우승 후보란 IM이기 때문에 크, 크게 신경은 안 쓰고 남은 경기 열심히 하면 좋은 결과 있을 거라 생각합니다. 저희가 전에 한번 진 적이 있지만 그때는 저희 팀원들이 너무 경험도 없었고 이제 앞 아, 음, 이제 지금은 저희 팀이 매우 이제 그 분위기가 좋기 때문에 저희 팀원 선수들이 하나하나 열심히 해 나가면 이제 충분히 이길 수 있다고 생각합니다. 스타트를 각오하시는 게 좋을 것 같습니다. 네, 제 생각은 약간 틀린 게 일단은 NSO랑 그 앞에 IM은 어차피 뭐 2승 할줄 알고 있었고 NSO가 약간 제 생각보다 좀 잘했는데 그 상대한 팀들이 또 이렇게 강 팀들이 아니라고 제가 생각하기 때문에 뭐큰 변수로 생각하진 않고요. 저희가 그냥 이기면 되니까 이길 수 있다는 마인드로 예, 준비하고 있습니다. 어, 최지성 선수는 언제든지 어, 출격 대기하고 있고요. 아마 오늘도 어, 세트 득실이 어떻게 될지 모르겠지만 그 아마 조금 저희가 좀 위기의 상황이 온다면 예, 지성이가 아마 나갈 겁니다. 변현우 선수랑 김상준 선수를 생각하고 왔고요. 어, 그두 선수만 잡으면 저희가 쉽게 이기고 올라갈 수 있을 거라고 생각하기 때문에 제넥스 아마 저희 팀 오늘 이기기 쉽지 않을 겁니다. 이노 you know, really interested to hear that Bion uh, was one of the players they're worried about because this means the, the pick to use Curious is very intentional. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have to say I always forget about puzzle. And I underbuild Xenix because of that. It's too bad. But uh, Puzzle is actually really quite good as well. Yeah. So they actually do have three strong players. That's that's they're becoming quite a solid team, I guess. Yeah. No, it it, it you know it reminds me a little I, bit of of, of mm. uh, early Prime, where it's like they had a bunch of ringers. You know yeah. what I mean? A bunch of like, well, you're pretty good. Maybe you'll get round at you know 32. You win your first uh, GSL Code S or not Code S, pre Code S Code A, and we just had it in the Super Tournament format. Maybe you'll get that far. Will you ever be top eight, top four? No. Now the prime players are a force we reckon with Marine, with, uh, with Marine King, excuse me, and Optimus Prime. All teams will eventually do that as well. Happen in StarCraft 1. Yeah. Even uh, the teams that had less money, eventually they had players hitting top four and stuff, you know? Yeah. So uh, we're just waiting for these guys to get ready. But it yeah. should be an interesting match. TBZ, um, if Beyond wins this, it's going to get a little bit shaky here for Startail. They don't yeah. have a ton of players they can use uh, left over. You know, between Zerg and Bomber, they have pretty solid players. Yeah. You know, but not, not not a big multitude mm -hmm. of you know, other guys that might be good snipers. Well, the map is Metalopolis. Let's show you that. There it is. It's See? Metalopolis. Would never lie to you. We would never lie to you. I've been hurt before, Tasis. We'll just settle down. Learn to love again. Papa Tasis and Uncle Artos are here to help you. <laughs> now the countdown is starting. Xenex against Startail. Bion against Furious. Who's going to win? Not entirely sure, but we're going to find out in a few minutes here at the GSL Team League. Let's go.